When learning a new language, one of the first things you learn is how to introduce yourself, which is what I am going to teach you today. I am going to introduce myself in Polish, nothing difficult, just the basic information, so you can see how much you understand, and to see that it's really not that difficult. Afterwards, I'll explain everything to you. Let's go! Cześć! Nazywam się Agata, mam 22 lata, jestem z Polski i mieszkam w Polsce, jestem studentką i pracuję w restauracji fast food, Interesuję się językami. Lubię chodzić na spacery i słuchać muzyki. All right. I hope I wasn't speaking too fast as I always do. <laughs> I began my introduction by saying hi. In Polish, we have many, many ways to say hi, but I would say the most common ones are cześć or hey. However, if you're trying to be more formal, if you're speaking to, let's say, someone much older than you, you say Dzień dobry, which means good morning, or dobry wieczór, which means good evening. After saying hi, I said what my name is. Now, you can do that by simply saying jestem, the word jestem, which means I am. Or if you want to go a bit more difficult, a bit higher level, uh, you can say nazywam się, which literally means I name myself, which is also the phrase I used. You can also say mam na imię, which means something like I have for name, more or less. So it's either jestem, nazywam się, or mam na imię. Then I said how old I am. Now to say that, in Polish we say I have <laughs> years. I am 22, which in Polish is 22, so the sentence is mam 22 lata. Now, lata means years, as you probably guessed. Um, you sometimes hear lata or lat. Now, the difference is lata comes with your above 20, and the second digit of your age ends with 2, 3 or 4. So, for example, 22 lata, 23 lata, 24 lata. If you're still a teenager or you're over 20, but the second digit of your age is either 1, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, then you say lat. So, for example, 13 lat, 14 lat, 25 lat, 21 lat. So, that's the difference. If the second digit of uh, the second or the only digit of your age is two, three or four, you say lata, the rest of them is lat. Unless you want to say one year, that you're one year old, then you say uh, rok, which I don't think you're gonna say this, but <laughs> who knows. Then I said where I'm from and where I live. I'm from Poland, which is also where I currently live. Here you can also say jestem, jestem z, which literally means I am from. Now, the Polish language has one mysterious part of grammar, which is called cases. As you probably noticed, I didn't say jestem z Polska, I said jestem z Polski. Cases are a thing that conjugate nouns, I, I guess I can say it that way. It is also a topic for a completely separate, completely different, super long video. One fact that I noticed though, maybe that will help you, um, is that if the Polish name of your country, without conjugating it, ends with A, in most cases, not in every one of them, um, it doesn't always happen, but in, in most cases, the ending will change to I. So, Anglia, Angli, jestem z Angli. Hiszpania, Hiszpani, jestem z Hiszpani. Francja, Francji, jestem z Francji. Um, but as I said, it's not always the case. It doesn't happen like that with all the countries. However, you can just say the name of your country without conjugating it. We'll still love it. We'll still be very impressed and we'll definitely understand you. To say where you live, you say mieszkam w. Once again, as you can notice, I didn't say mieszkam w Polska, or I didn't say mieszkam w Polski, I said mieszkam w Polsce. Um, that's just, that's just, I think you need to accept for now. The Polish language is a very, very evil one. <laughs> 
Then I said jestem studentką, which, as you probably guessed, means I am a student. Nothing very difficult here except for another use of a case, because a student, a female student is studentka, not studentką. To make it a bit easier, you can say studiuję, which means I study, but it only refers to university students, it doesn't refer to school. After that, I said pracuję w restauracji fast food. Now, pracuję means I work. Uh, so the sentence means I work in a fast food restaurant, which was pretty easy, I suppose. <laughs> Next, I said interesuję się językami. Interesuję się, as you probably guessed, uh, means I am interested in. After that, I said językami. The word językami uh, comes from the word języki, which is plural for język, which means a language. Last but not least, lubię. Lubię means I like. So, lubię chodzić na spacery. I like going for walks. Lubię słuchać muzyki. I like listening to music. You can say lubię czytać książki, which means I like reading books. Lubię rysować, which means I like drawing. The options are endless, but the key word is lubię. Now, I'll say it all over again. I'll try to speak slowly and this time I'm also gonna show you English subtitles. Cześć! Nazywam się Agata, mam 22 lata, jestem z Polski i mieszkam w Polsce. Jestem studentką i pracuję w restauracji fast food. Interesuję się językami. Lubię chodzić na spacery i słuchać muzyki. There you go. Now you know how to introduce yourself in Polish. I don't think it's very difficult. Uh, there's just a bunch of words that you need to learn. But as we say in Polish, dla chcącego nic trudnego, which means that if you really want something, it's nothing difficult for you. So, if there's something that you would like to know that I didn't cover in this video, please let me know, I would love to help. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!